The website is based on a content management system or CMS. This means that the website is now the first place that information will appear. It's mobile and tablet friendly and it's fully searchable with dedicated member only content spanning 65 years. We'll start with the home page. At the top, by the logo, we've got an automatic site translation engine that translates the site into dozens of languages. There's quick links to social media and the site-wide search bar. Underneath this, we have the main site navigation, which is separated into logical sections. We'll cover some of the key areas of this shortly. Directly underneath this, we have the online assessments, which again we'll cover shortly in more detail, followed by the SCTE shop and a link to our contacts page. Scroll down and you'll see the three column structure. The left column appears on all screens, giving members quick login access. Under the YouTube channel and join icons, you can see our live Twitter feed and most read pages. In the main column under the image slider, you can see the latest stories. Any press releases will always display a synopsis of the story on the home page, with a link through to the full story. In the right column, you have instant access to the latest issue of Broadband Magazine, and non-members can access a previous issue free of charge. Under this, you can subscribe to the SCTE newsletter, and finally there's a dynamic list of forthcoming events and latest downloads. The bottom footer provides our address, with more site-structured related content underneath, such as links to the advanced search, sitemap and glossary, along with directions to the office and general industry links. The homepage is your starting point to the website and gives you the latest stories via the headlines and Twitter feeds, plus the next important events in the industry calendar and any recent downloads. Let's go through the top menu quickly. Some of the items will be covered in a little more detail later. And note that once you're logged in, there are more menu items displayed for members. The About menu tells you everything you need to know about the SCTE. There are details on the various awards and bursaries available, access to all of the SCTE Benelux Group content in one place, standards and training information, and details on the SCTE Executive Committees and Officers. The Join menu gives you details on the various membership categories. Underneath that you have Corporate Members, the benefit of membership and accreditations and awards. Existing members can use the bottom two links to upgrade their membership. The Members option gives you immediate access to the reasons why many of you became members in the first place. It includes the Members Directory, technical specs and standards, and details of discounts for members, with the last option being Ask the Expert. More on these later. The Publications link covers items such as Broadband Journal, the Members Handbook, and Training Manuals. Professional Development covers everything from training to certification and the Events option allows you to either browse all events or dive straight into a specific category. Press and Promotion contains access to our database of press releases, a media gallery of all SCTE events, details of SCTE partners and advertising and sponsorship opportunities. And finally we have the download section which includes hundreds of files covering presentations from lectures and every issue of broadband ever published. To access members' content, you'll need to be logged in. Now I'm currently logged out, and you can see that if I open the members dropdown, we don't have any of the locked members-only content we saw earlier. I'll log in quickly, hover over the same menu, and you can now see that the content is there. If you've previously had a login password but can't remember it, you can use the lost password link to receive an email that will allow you to reset it. If you've forgotten your username, then you can use the link underneath to enter your email address to again receive it by email. Once you're logged in, you'll see your name on the left-hand side and the member's content will automatically be visible throughout the site. Just as a reminder, if you want to upgrade your membership status, you can easily do this by selecting Join and clicking on the relevant upgrade option and completing the form. There are actually three ways that you can search the site. Firstly, in the top right hand side of each page is a search box. Entering the first three characters of a keyword will show a drop down of top hits. Bear in mind that you're searching the entire SCTE website and there's a lot of content here, so it might be that you want to use the full search facility which you can find at the bottom of each page. Using this option you can not only search by any or all keywords entered, but you can also change the results order. You can filter the results further by checking one of the search only boxes. 
and finally at the bottom of each page is a site map, giving you an easy to navigate tree of all sections across the site. Don't forget you'll only see results relating to members only content if you're logged in. As a member you have access to our panel of experts to ask them any technical question you want. We've kept this page intentionally simple. Just enter your question, name and email and we'll aim to get you an answer as soon as we can, which is generally within a week or two. The members directory is broken down into seven categories. You can either choose to drill down by category or use the A to Z listing to find someone using the first letter of their last name. Of course, the site search is another quick way to find someone. Just enter a few letters of their last name in the search field and their name will pop up in the drop down. The photo archive is broken down into various categories some of which are again only viewable once you're logged in. Select the category you want to find photos for, such as a past gala dinner, then browse by year. When there are multiple events in a given year, these will be separated into subfolders. Once you're in the thumbnail view of your chosen folder, you can either download a high-res version or click on an image to start a slideshow. Now this section is without a doubt one of the most popular and important areas of the website. The download section contains decades of useful material with the most popular content contained within the general documents, lectures and members only folders on the first page. Many other pages of the website have links to direct sections within it, but you can always just browse the folders by category. Don't forget also that you can also use the breadcrumb navigation above the main content on any page to go back up one or more levels. The most common thing that people use it for is to download content for a specific lecture. From here we go to the Lectures, Conferences and Exhibitions folder, select our lecture type and location followed by the date. You'll then see details of each presentation, the date it was published and a link to download it. Note that events often also have a public download folder and this will be linked to above the download links. It's possible that we may restructure this in the future but for now, where there's public and members only folders, we'll ensure that there's a link above the documents between the two. Broadband Journal is the leading magazine in the cable and broadband industry, offering truly global and independent coverage. On the Broadband Journal homepage, you can subscribe, view the media pack and rate card, find out about advertising and access the full download archives through the download section. You can also submit a proposal for editorial. As each new issue is released, we also make an older issue available to non-members. You can view this right in the browser and use your mouse to click forward and back through pages. Any relevant web or email links within the magazine are hyperlinked and you can also search the issue through the search box at the top right hand side of the page. As I mentioned earlier, you can find the broadband archives within the download section of the website. Let's browse them quickly here. We've grouped them in volumes of 10 and you can navigate to the issue you want and either click the download link immediately to get the PDF or click on the issue title to view the full table of contents and access the online version of the magazine. Here's a quick tip for you. If you're after a single page from Broadband, you can open up the online version and use the print icon. Enter a page number or several page numbers separated by commas and then select print to PDF. If you don't have a PDF printer installed, there are plenty of free ones available such as Cute PDF Printer. The download section is also home to the Crosstalk archives, along with Broadband's predecessors CTE and the Relay Engineer before that. Another simple but very useful tool on the website is the Glossary. Like any industry, broadband is awash with acronyms, so you can access the glossary of terms at the bottom of each page. You can either enter a keyword in the search box or click on the relevant letter to see all acronyms starting with that letter. And of course you can also enter a term in the search box at the top right hand side of each page and it will give you a quick link to the full term.
the events section is the place to go to find out anything about events happening in the broadband industry. In addition to sections dedicated to SETE lectures and networking events, we also publish details on other events happening around the world, with direct links to the event website. If you want to download presentations or images from previous lecture meetings, you'll see that on the Lectures Meetings Events page, we've placed links to the relevant sections in the Download and Gallery areas. Alternatively, you can click on Downloads, go to Members Content, followed by Lectures to get to the same place, and then locate your event by location and date. And finally, you can always use the site search, which is useful if you know, say, the title of one of the presentations given. Again, note that you'll need to be logged in to see that content. Every year, the SCTE hosts its prestigious awards, split into Individual Achievement Awards and Technology Innovation Awards. You can download a PDF submission form directly from the website and submit it via email. A new SCTE Members Handbook is currently under development, but you can access details from the current handbook via the website. For example, all of the technical specification documents are individually available within the Members Download section. Just browse to Members Downloads, or there's a quick link directly under the Members dropdown. Moving on to the SCTE shop, this is controlled outside of the main site by a dedicated e-commerce system, although this may change in the future. Here you can renew subscriptions, purchase sponsorship packages, pay for training courses and exams, and buy various books, publications and other products. It's a standard shopping cart system and you can pay using all standard credit cards. Under the Press and Promotion link, we mentioned advertising and sponsorship earlier. Here you can find out about the wide variety of promotional opportunities available, such as advertising in the Member's Handbook, in Broadband Journal and various sponsorship opportunities. If you're looking for more immediate exposure, you may want to consider either an SCTE e-blast, which goes out via email to our Member's database, or place a banner advert on our site. Remember that the SCTE website receives a large amount of traffic and therefore is seen as an important site by the likes of Google. Any site that receives a link from ours is seen as important. So if you're interested to find out more, just scroll to the bottom of the page and complete the short form. For more information, please also take a look at the Media Pack, which is also available in the Download section. In addition to the content that we place on our website, we're also very active on social media. At the top of the site, you can see links to all of our social media profiles on Twitter, Google+, YouTube and LinkedIn. And on the home page, you can see that we've got a live Twitter feed on the left-hand side of the page. Above that, our YouTube channel is host to various videos covering awards and lectures. There's a great deal of content relating to SCTE training on the site. In the shop, we have details of the various training manuals and their associated courses. The SCTE Online Assessment section allows you to take various exams via the website. After purchasing your chosen course through the shop, you'll receive access to the Assessments Portal and will have access to your chosen course. Each multiple choice exam is timed and you can start it at a time to suit you. You may also want to take a look at the Broadband Training website at broadbandtraining.eu. It's a good place to help you decide which course you need to take. Under the training drop-down are details and a sample section of each course manual. So that sums up the majority of the functionality on the website. We're constantly looking at ways of improving the existing content as well as adding new features, so if you have any requests or ideas, please send an email to webmaster at the SCTE.eu.